Hello and welcome to our build and open source e-commerce website series. In this series we'll be building a complete shopping cart website using PrestaShop. There's a lot of different open source e-commerce shopping carts that we could have used, uh, Magento, OS Commerce, but PrestaShop really fits the needs of, of the series and what we want to convey. So I want to go over a brief introduction to each chapter. Uh, chapter 1 will be e-commerce 101 and will just be a kind of a generalized chapter um, going over the introduction of e-commerce and online retail. Um, we'll also go over all the shopping cart platform choices. Like I said, we're using PrestaShop, but there's a bunch of good ones out there and we want to give credit to those. Uh, so we have um, five or six shopping cart choices that we'll go over. Um, payment system and integration every platform needs some kind of payment plugin um, and we'll go over the, the the most popular plugins as far as um, on-site and off-site processing PayPal authorized.net um, so chapter two we'll we're gonna go over press the shop um, go over the features uh, quite briefly and then we're going to set up our local environment and that'll include installing XAMPP web server onto a Windows PC and what XAMPP does is it allows us to run a, a hosted environment um, to run an Apache server on our local machine uh, as well as MySQL so we can actually install PrestaShop right on our local machine and we don't need to have um, a hosting account and next we'll be do we'll install PrestaShop and configure it and then finally we'll do a back office tour where I'll go over the back office which is basically the admin area and we'll just briefly go over each section and I'll explain um, as we go so chapter 3 will be shipping and payment uh, initially I plan I'd plan to do the adding products and categories um, first and then do the shipping and payment but I found that uh, it's just easier if we get this out of the way if we get our shop configured so that it'll, wor it'll work and then go move on to adding products and categories etc um, so in this chapter we'll we'll set up shipping and carriers um, we'll also deal with multi-currency and, and tax um, and we'll also implement PayPal as well as go over our other options as far as payment systems and payment gateways. So chapter 4 we'll move on to the really the administration part of it uh, adding categories, manufacturers, suppliers, adding the actual products um, it does, Press the Shop does by default come with a, a, a default template and default products so we'll be looking at those in depth as well um, customer management we'll be looking at our customers and, and their the fields they fill out when they register and purchase a product um, and we'll also go over order management and invoices and all that good stuff so once we learn how to set up the shop add our products we'll move on to um, the the actual front end visual visualization part of it um, and we'll go over templates as well as how to customize them um, we'll go over modules and blocks and we'll go over the built-in CMS um, in creating static web pages so that's the five chapters that I have written out um, s some things could change some minor things um, but that's the gist of it, and I hope you like the series.